Hey y'all, former plant killer here, Jesse with Living on a Prayer Flower Farm. And today we're doing a <gasps> florette seed haul video. It came in and I'm so excited. If you're new to my channel, I'm on a flower farm journey turning my black thumb of death into a green thumb of life. And if you'd like to join me on this journey, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like more videos like this, please hit the like button. It really does help me guys. So oh, I have been waiting on this. Guys, I've been waiting for months, as I'm sure most of you have, have been waiting for months to one, be able to order, and then two, feeling that <gasps> panic of, please God, let me check out with the seeds I want before they're all sold out. Oh, Now, Florette did say that they're doing it differently this year. They didn't release all the seeds at once, and those that are currently sold out are now saying coming soon. So if you missed out on these seeds, you can just tell them to email you when available, and as soon as they release them again, you'll be able to order them then if you're quick enough. So luckily, I was quick enough and it came in. But let's take a look at the struggle of ordering these seeds and waiting forever to get them in. Where's the sale? Oh, I got a freshman page. And I'll add that. And that was only gonna add like three things, but here we are, 10 items in. I hope this stuff is saving in my cart and that's not gonna just be sold out when I get there. Check out, check out, check out. Got it! Yes! <gasps> My red order has shipped! Ah! Are they here yet? I thought I heard a knock at the door. No package yet. Oh, I think I heard a knock at the door. Nothing. Waiting on my seeds. Waiting. I wonder if that cloud looks like a dahlia. Oh, Ooh, is that him? Nope, nope, that's just a pickup truck. And they arrived today. Okay, so honestly, it only took a little over a week to get them, which surprised me. I thought when she said shipping delays, it would be at least two to three weeks before I would get these. But they made it in one week. Hello, Florette. Thank you so much for all you do in getting them to us. Ah, the Florette team, you rock. So it says, it's here, yay. Magic from Florette inside. Let's open it. Okay, so on this card, it says learn with Florette in 2021. It's got a list of dates of when she's got things coming out for resources. And I believe these are free resources. There's the Cut Flower Garden mini course coming out in February. And I've already signed up for it. I'm so excited. These are free courses. She does little videos and uploads them. It's normally three to four videos long and she releases one video a week. So if you have not signed up for the Florette, free mini courses, you need to do so now. It is so much fun, so informative. Oh my goodness, so informative. All right, so let's get to the seeds and what I ordered from Florette for 2021. Now guys, I got on the website and I was just going to order maybe three or four seeds. Three or four, that's all I was gonna get, three or four. No more, Jesse. don't you order more. You're done for the season. And then I panicked and I bought this and that and this and that. But you know what? I, I'm good on seeds. I might not have to buy any seeds next year. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm buying seeds next year or this year, I guess. You know what I mean? You can never have enough seeds. Everybody should buy all the seeds. If you're watching this video, I'm telling you now, buy all the seeds. So Iceland poppies could not resist. I tried to grow these last year, did a horrible job at it. They don't like summer in Louisiana, just FYI. So this year we're gonna start these babies earlier. And this is the Sherbert mix, Iceland poppies. Jewels of Opar. If you've read her book, I believe it's the A Year in Flowers or a Cut Flower Garden, she uses some Jewels of Opar to put into arrangements and it's beautiful. It adds like a little sparkle. You strip all the leaves and you just leave the little berries. I got some more lockspur. <sighs> so, supposed to plant this in October, but I mean, I couldn't get it till now. And it, it's fancy pink lockspur. And I also got summer skies mix lockspur. They look so beautiful. I know I should have planted them in October if I was gonna do it, but you know what? I've gotta try. 
I'll go ahead and get these going now. It says they take 110 to 120 days. So I'm going to be pushing it, but you know what? They will be gorgeous. Gorgeous. If I can get them up. We'll see. I got Love in a Mist, the Starry Night Mix. Oh, these are beautiful white and black and just, oh, they are going to be gorgeous. I can't wait to use them. Of course, just FYI, I haven't had much luck with Nogelia Seeds, Love in the Mist series, or anyhow, Nogelia Seeds. But we're changing that this year because we've learned they don't like heat. <laughs> they want cool spring weather or cool fall weather, which cool fall weather really doesn't happen to us until November or December. So we're going to try it because this year's going to be better, right? I got some bunny tails or mental grass. This was an impulse buy. I just, I saw them and I instantly thought, oh, they're gorgeous. Click. And then on, I believe it's the Floret Seed Chat and Trading Group that I'm in on Facebook. Someone shared a post where they dyed these. Oh, dyed them for Easter pink and blue and purple. It was gorgeous. So, I will definitely be drying these and then dyeing them and they are gonna look so cute. So cute. Pin cushion flower salmon mix. So I've never tried to grow a pin cushion flower before, but I've discovered it this year and it's, I'm just hooked. So I think this is my third or fourth variety of pin cushion flower. And I'm excited. I hope I can grow it. <laughs> I hope it does well. If not, I'll learn for next year and it'll grow fine. I won't use all the seeds. Don't use all the seeds this year, Jesse. Don't do it. I got some more poppies. I got the Shirley Poppy Mother of Pearl. Oh, just the beautiful gray purple color of these really drew me in. And of course I had to get more Snapdragons. Guys, I am addicted to Snapdragons. Oh, if I can get them to grow like I'm supposed to get them to grow. Oh. I mean, I've got 90 so far. I mean, they're not out in the field, but I've got 90 seedlings that have made it to like this tall. And I still have more seeds to plant of snapdragons and I'm just, I'm loving them. I can't help it. I think I might just plant a whole field full of snapdragons and I'll run through it and it'll just be epic. But it's, uh, uh sorry. I just went off on a tangent then. Sorry. So I got Snapdragon Chantilly Light Pink. And then, guys, I can't do a seed sale and not buy zinnias because you know, I love zinnias. They're just so easy to grow. They're so easy to grow. And I have been waiting on this. Do you hear me? Waiting on this variety. The Zinderella Laylac. Lilac, lilac, however you say it, lilac. I always say lilac. Is it lilac? Zinderella lilac zinnias. They just look so delicate and puffy. I just want to touch their centers. So oh, I cannot wait to get these in the ground. I wish I would have bought more. But you know, like most of you, I was like, oh, hurry up and check out. Hurry up and check out before they disappear. And then I got some more Zinderella Peach, which are just super cute. I'm excited about those. And then I saw that she had Zinnia Zinderella Cupcake Pink. Or I'm sorry, Zinnia Cupcake Pink. And I mean, how could I say no? I've never seen this Zinnia before. And I've got to grow all the Zinnias. Must grow all the Zinnias. Pretty sure this is on all your list. The Zinnia's Little Flower Girl Mix. I mean, look at that. Look at it. Beautiful pastel colors. Oh! Cannot wait to have these to put on my old table, to give out to friends and family, to have on my farm stand if I do the farmer's market. And then I found Zinnia Mazaruka. Mazarukia? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll put the name up. 
but I got this. It just looked so unique. I couldn't pass it up. Guys, the only Zinnia I was planning on buying was the Zinderella Lilac. Lilac. <laughs> the Zinderella Lilac. That was all I was going to buy as far as Zinnias. And here I am with four. Four things of Zinnias. I may have an issue. I decided to buy more bachelor buttons. I got the classic romantic, classic romantic mix. Oh, I can't say it. Bachelor buttons, classic romantic mix. So these will be fun if I can get them to grow, which the ones out there are growing. So excited. So pretty confident maybe I can get these going. I got more China Aster Moonstone. Rose Quartz Mix China Aster. I said I wouldn't do Cosmos this year. Now, now hear me out, hear me out. I love the way the Cosmos look, but I just can't keep up with deadheading them. And then I had a few that just shriveled up and died, even though they were mature. So I don't, I don't know what happened. I think I had a bad leaf hopper invasion going on. It might have carried some disease to them and took them out. Oh! Yeah. But I saw the double click bicolor rose Cosmos. And I couldn't resist, nor could I resist the double click mix Cosmos. But then I said, I'm not doing any dahlias except the ones already bought. But then I saw her beige choice mix of dahlias and I had to have them, had to have them. And then y'all know I love Snapdragons. So I had to get Madam Butterfly peaches and cream mix. Snapdragon Costa Summer Lavender. Johnny's didn't have any lavender that I could see. And they did. So I had to buy it. I also said I was done with sunflowers. Guys, I put that tarp out and thought I had plenty of room to kill all this grass and I would have more than enough room for all my flowers. And now I'm thinking I don't have enough room for all the flowers. And then I bought sunflowers. Bought two more things of sunflowers. I bought the Panache, Panache, Panache. I don't know how to pronounce it, but there's the name sunflower. And the Ruby Eclipse sunflower. I am a sucker for these different colored sunflowers. I just, I can't help myself. Then I decided to buy one thing that I have not grown yet. Sweet pea, Yvette Ann sweet pea. I haven't tried to grow sweet peas yet, but you know what? This is the summer of learning and growing, implementing lessons that I learned from 2020, and we'll see how this does, and I'm excited. If you are new to flower farming and would like some tips and advice on the things I learned from my first year growing flowers in 2020, be sure to click the video, and it'll take you right to it, and you'll learn all the lessons I learned the hard way. Tip one I'm going to tell you right now is you're going to buy all the seeds. You just are. People are going to tell you not to buy all the seeds, but you're going to buy all the seeds. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.